Was yeah, that going to blow around? Yeah, yeah that was going to blow around. It was. I remember that. Yeah. Actually, Melissa Bell. Oh, Melissa. I think. Oh, I don't know if that's close, but you Melissa Bell was in I, and I knew her in Sydney at that time. And I saw her. She lives in Service Paradise now. Oh, Sorry, the other day. She looks so different. You have to twist it. Sort of twist it and then fold it. Yes. Well, almost got it. Do you mind it holding up for a second? It's the wind, I can't. Just just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Sort of fold it into an eight and then fold each circle on top of it. That's right. It's going to blow around. It's going to blow around. We're going to use the screen instead. So right. if you just hold on, even if you just put it on the ground. Oh, so mate, you need to come over here. Around. I just want to just block it. See, just a bit off the. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Am I out of shot? Yeah, you're out of shot. Yeah. I'll just. Give you a second. Yeah. How's that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Let's have another go. Yeah. So, I often say to you, as a friend, like. Um, uh, when I first met you, you were 16. I know. And and I've watched you just can completely move up in your category. Uh, um, how do I say it without being weird? <laughs> but I, I've always said to you, you you've been born with the body. You actually <laughs> born with the body. You Thank know, you. and only some, only particular people can actually take on the industry they're in, in your industry, which is using your assets. Yeah, and um, and and. You know, becoming the penthouse pet, becoming on the cover of um, Penthouse in America. Um, yes. You know, like actually using what you've been uh, given and fighting through all the all the weirdos in that. that there life. are there's yeah. weirdos and there's stereotypes and there's there's all sorts of people that just want to hate on you. But at the end of the day, you just have to do what's right for you and you just have to be yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be a horrible person. Yeah. You're going to be horribly unhappy and. I love everything that I do. I really do. I live for it. I wake up every day and I can't wait to start a new day. Yeah, and I know that. I know that from you. Yeah. And I think that's, um, those people aren't just, you're, you, you don't create a person like that. You 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 were born that way, you know. You, <laughs> you came out with this body that is, looks so good on, on in images. It's pulled away from it, You know, this, yeah, I think that looks better, hey. You, um, you look, <laughs> your body looks so good uh, in, in film. But you can actually talk the talk, which isn't, uh, <laughs> you know, you uh, look at us, all, all these guys, we know where we love looking at women. That's what it's all about. So you have to converse your way through the, get your way through all the creeps in that industry. There are a few creeps, but it's not just about the boys. There's women as well. Women like looking at women. Yeah. yeah. You look at Instagram and all the social media, it's very female dominated now. What I find interesting is in the um, in the modelling and the fashion sort of world, that's when the women actually know that no, you've got that body that is made for pinup, and then there's the body that's made for um, for fashion clothes. Yeah, I was right? actually so I do I do live stream um, periscopes now. You've actually pushed me into this because yeah, yeah. I um I've been listening to your shows and I'd like to start doing something wow. similar, but um. Yeah, just yeah. being able to talk to people. The yeah. people don't talk enough anymore. They always text. So I've been doing live streaming periscopes, and I was talking about that with some of my fans today. Of um, I don't have a fashion figure. I don't have a conventional body, but I just sort of do what I do just yeah. because it suits me. Yeah. And, um, you know, you've done some huge shows. The last time I saw you actually was in a, in a club over here dressed... <laughs> As um, uh, Snow White. Snow White. Yes. It's just the greatest, it, you know, it was a strip tease. It really was, but it was this bubbly, it just highlighted your personality as, um, you know, you took it somewhere else, is what I mean to say. There's, there's the norm, that, which is, I think, is why you got to the top of Penthouse, you know. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Do you create them all the time? I do. I'm actually um, choreographing a new show at the moment based on more Tahitian style dancing which has just been so much fun I've been doing dance classes up in Southport learning uh, Tahitian dance yeah. which is it's actually really hard <laughs> it's hard to get your hands and your hips coordinated but I'm getting there slowly so next year I'll be heading over to Perth and performing at the penthouse club over there for two weeks yeah. when you when your whole business is your body are you always conscious of it you know how we all sort of know yeah. that ladies' bodies change sort of every month, a couple of months. You can, you do, you know. So, 
Um, I, I can I've imagine, been... well, the reason I ask, I can imagine your mind is sort of going crazy a little bit. Oh, no, I've got this show in Perth. Yeah, well, I'm very lucky in the sense that I, I do have a curvy figure, but I, I eat well and I live right on the beach. So I'm down here every morning, either beach walking, beach running, running up and down these sand dunes behind me, right. which kills. But yeah. I'm, I'm really lucky in the sense that I, I'm not a fitness model. I'm a, a curvy glamour model, so Could I don't you... need abs. <laughs> I, just, I just thought of something. Could you show me how to do a good squat? Um, okay. Let's do it. Sure. Maybe you could show me how to Let's do go. a good squat. <laughs> Before we do, just get in and just up, oh, because yeah. we'll probably won't, we'll, once okay. we get up, we'll, we'll, we'll be in. We won't be able to get down. Yeah. Well, the reason I'm just going to cut away. Yeah. You drink that, I'm just going to get another yeah. show. Yeah. How about I make you run up and down huh? sand hills? No, no running. Yeah. Well, someone, <laughs> I read this thing where, um, I don't know if I told you this, but Hip rotation for white people. Is that what you think? We, in the I, can't remember. Oh, I think so. It's kind of been moving. Yeah, around. I think it's sort of been in your hand up yeah. a little. Um, uh, Western world, we don't we don't squat a lot. We don't <laughs> squat by the fire like we did for millions of years. No. And so it's it's a real um, a, a fashionable thing now to do ten squats a day for your hip rotation. Oh, really? But. Obviously, in the you know the <laughs> world of Instagram. Drink, sorry, keep it. You drink out of it. Uh, yeah, I can put it uh, over uh, here. Put it, uh, yeah, put it there. Yeah, yeah that's good. all right. That's good. In the world of uh, photos now that we're all in, like it, yes, it, but like it's very your, your really bum dominated is, now, yeah, it is. isn't it? Yeah, big time. Isn't it funny how we <laughs> yeah. we came from? Everyone loved the big pinup fifties girls who were large shaped, like raw. And then yeah. for some reason, thirty years of of. Trying to deny that and very, uh, very thin catwalk models, and then yeah, it's, it's gone coming from. Back. And there's there's been a lot of um, fake boobs and fake this and fake yeah. that, but I think the natural figure is yeah. coming back in. Whether you're large breasted or small breasted, big bum, small bum, whatever you are, just be it and be happy. And I yeah. think that's what men find attractive yeah. ultimately. It is, and but I think it took the uh, the rapper guys to actually. Remind yes. us again, like Not I so like happy. big butts. Like, yeah. well, me too, actually. Of course, I, I always have. <laughs> you know, there isn't a man alive, and again, I'm not being creepy to you or any women, but there isn't a man alive that that doesn't catch a glimpse of a of a healthy bum and just go, oh my god, a nice I, I, there's some. Yeah. I just, you know, I've got instincts. I've got yeah. instincts. Like, I always <laughs> think about that now. Like the instincts of just looking at a, a well shaped woman going. We're just animals. But you like, just appreciate you know? it. It's like, mm. yes, she looks after herself. Good on her. Yeah. I appreciate that about her. Yeah. Well, they, they say doing the squat is great for hip rotation for, for the rest of your life, yeah, especially white people because we sit at dining room tables. And, and but what, what you get out of it is this, is it your glutes, I guess? Yeah, your glutes. Get, glutes. You know, this really high. Your gluteus minimus, the yeah. gluteus maximus. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the imagery. All of the, yeah. <laughs> We were talking about big butts. Yeah. Do you miss Dracula's? I, I do, actually. I miss going to work and putting on crazy makeup yeah. and running around, yeah. terrifying people and entertaining people. Yeah. I miss doing that on a nightly basis, but I also... I'm um, going to move my hair. I also really like that I, I now work for myself and I'm my own boss, so I do whatever the hell I want to do. Yeah. And, yeah, but still, like, a... Knowing that group of people, so you're in a sort of a lonely industry now of I pushing am. yourself forward all the time. Yes, it can we know be. that in the in bands, like in music, to, have a, to be in a band full of guys, it's it's a pain in the butt, but it's great because you can rely on these people at the same time, and they push you forward as well. Yeah. So, but if you're a solo artist, it can be a drain because you're like. It can be. I spend so much time alone up in that house on my computer; it's ridiculous. So it's important, I guess, to come outside and walk on the beach and make appointments where you meet up with your friends otherwise yeah. it can be pretty depressing yeah do the girls in your industry talk yeah i've got yeah. some wonderful friends in the industry is there There's a so forum many lovely site people. i bet there must be some sort of worldwide forum where oh. you can so even if they're funny stories like um, maybe there should be i'm on a few in yeah. uh what are they facebook pages yeah <laughs> but in... that's mostly talking about creepy people well that's good where we where we send all the the naughty pictures that we're sent that wow. we don't necessarily want to look at. Wow. Incredible. I can't tell you what it's called. It's secret ladies' business. Yeah. This is, um, um, I can't say where I'm going. But, yeah, is it really? So it's actually secret ladies' business. You, you don't, 
There's no boys on the Well, I'm surprised actually <laughs> that... I'm surprised that all these dick pics aren't shown... Like, you don't send them all to this one website. Uh, well, like, as a, as a way of shaming, you know? Well, yeah, I get sent <laughs> that many pictures. And I'm always saying, like, unless I specifically ask you... Please don't send me those pictures. Yeah. I don't want to see them. It's it's like the new age of the the creepy flasher dude in the park. Yeah. It's like there's no trench coats anymore. Yeah. It's just. But yeah. it's obvious who they are. Like they've often got a name tag to them. And... They do, and sometimes you go onto these people's Facebook pages. You have a look at them, and they're married, or you know they've they've got their especially family and their pictures married. with. Oh, especially, 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 if especially if they're married. They're married. Yeah. That's horrible. I'm like I don't think your wife would really appreciate that. But to I be don't honest, appreciate Morgan, I don't it. think I think I think the the marriage thing is um, a, quite a new concept. It, no. And it, you find yourself happily married. That's that's for sure. But yeah. I would say, and I which I am, but definitely a mind's man's mind is constantly thinking about like he always has for millions of years of just getting it out there, oh, yeah. like, you know. <laughs> so the the concept is pretty strange, especially now that we live so long. I think that's why people getting comfortable with breaking up Ooh, even this though is a, this is deep huh this is deep isn't it isn't yeah. it well to be honest this isn't recording and i'll probably edit this bit out but oh, that's all right there um no, i meant like we li- we're living longer now so does that mean oh, yeah. that well, um people are naturally looking for more partners yeah i, I know think it in, might be a new thing you know yeah. because it's not a, maybe well, a lot of people say yeah 40 years then as soon as the kids are gone they tend to either start having um, other relationships on yeah. the side or they break up. And I think it's really becoming a thing. I think people change, though, as well. Like, everyone's, you know, you might be a couple and you're all out working all the time and looking after the kids. But then once the kids have left home, you've changed as people and then you have to get to know each other again. So that's not necessarily yeah. a bad thing. You no. just have to figure see, each some, other out. That's right. Which, and some people love their wife because the way they look after the kids mm. so when the kids are gone they look at each other potentially I think this is what happens I've seen it before in this one couple I know it's like I don't even know why I'm here with you anymore like uh, and even the guy says well I really love you from the way you look after these little humans yeah now they're gone now what do we do just like what do you do so I Aww. just think that generally we used to only live for 30 or 40 years this is true forever so, so monogamy was like why not yeah, yeah. now yep oh jeez I can't bring it up I, I no. brought it up in another episode of, yeah <laughs> don't bring that up oh damn but um so how are you I'm actually doing really well I I don't know if I, I spoke to you about this but I started suffering from a little bit of depression during the year because I've had that many friends who have either committed suicide or passed away which has been very tragic and hurt me a lot Uh, so I've actually really cleaned up my diet and I've just forced myself to come outside a lot more and exercise and so I'm doing a lot better now life has been wonderful and I just have more of an appreciation for a lot of those people are kind of entertainer people you know, people yeah. from in, in the entertainment industry. It's, it's really tragic it's and really horrible. Weird. But I suppose there's that much yeah. pressure on people these days to be Sorry, Sorry, perfect no, or to be that entertainer yes. that everyone wants. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Can I ask you a couple of questions about Drew and just how you got into the podcast? Yeah, yeah, cool. Charney yeah. uh, Louise. Yeah. Um, well, see, you, just yesterday I was listening to the, the biggest, most popular podcast show in the world, oh, WTF, with Mark Moran. He was interviewing a comedian who didn't want to be a game show host, but they were like, look, if you're a game show host, even though that's a horrible sort of job for any person with respect for themselves, you could get all this following from it, you could get another show out yeah. of it. So. And that's what it, it comes down to exposure. That's what yeah. it is. Um, to be able to be put into different scenarios and different slot yourself in. Yeah. But then to actually gain something from that as well. Um, sometimes, and that's the thing, with stuff like the reality TV shows. I mean, it was like in the, was it late 90s that it started happening? Massive, massive thing with that. And it was just, um, you know, it was such a... a um, 
uh, uh, what I'm looking for. Um, oh, oh gosh. Um,